Hello friends, I'm Trinity Scott with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Animal Kingdoms, designed by Stephen Armini, published by Galactic Raptor Games. This is a 1-5 to five player game that plays in about 45 minutes. Let's get started. Game setup for Animal Kingdoms. First, place the game board within reach of all players. Next, each player chooses a color and takes that color's influence markers. Return unused influence markers to the box. We will not be using them during the game. Shuffle all Noble Beast cards into a Noble Beast deck. Deal four cards face down to each player. You may look at your own cards. Place the deck within reach of all players. Shuffle the Decree cards and randomly place one face up in each of the five Decree spaces at the base of each kingdom. Place the rest of the Decree deck off to the side. Shuffle the orange first place tiles face down. One at a time, randomly place a tile face up in each of the three tile spaces at the base of the five kingdoms. Once you've played, rearrange each kingdom's trio of tiles so they appear in increasing value, left to right. Shuffle the green first to withdraw tiles face down. Randomly select three and place them face down off to the side, returning the last tile to the box without looking at it. Place the scoreboard off to the side and each player's scoring marker beside the board. Place the battle modifier tiles within reach of all players. The player who most recently saw an animal in the wild is the first player. You are now ready to play. Gameplay. Play takes place over three rounds called ages. Beginning with the first player and continuing clockwise, players will take turns through the current age until all players have withdrawn. At the end of the each age, players will score influence points based on how well they dominated in each of the five kingdoms. On your turn, you must perform one action from the following. Claim a territory, rally, or withdraw. At the end of your turn, play passes clockwise to the next active player. Claim a territory. Play a Noble Beast card. To claim a territory, you must play a card from your hand by placing it below any of the five kingdoms, so long as the, your card adheres to that kingdom's decree, a placement rule that you must obey in order to play a card in that particular kingdom. Simply, place your card below the chosen kingdom such that it does not cover the rank slash beast of any existing cards in that column. About decree cards. Some decrees have a basic rule identified with no arrow. Other decrees have a conditional rule in which the last card of all cards, in some cases, played below the, that kingdom affects the card that can be played on top of it. These decrees are identified with a down arrow. Some decrees have a conditional rule in which the last played card in each neighboring kingdom, adjacent ones, affect the next card that can be played below this kingdom. These decrees are identified with a single left or right arrow. Finally, some decrees have a conditional rule in which the last played card in all kingdoms affects the next card that can be played below this kingdom. These decrees are identified with double left, double right arrows. If a decree relies on a specific card such as cards in neighboring kingdoms, and no card are played that satisfy this condition, then any card may be placed in this kingdom. For example, the decree equal to or higher than the highest neighbor requires a card in at least one neighboring kingdom. If there are no cards in either neighboring kingdom, any card may play to satisfy this decree. Next, place an influence marker. After playing your card below a kingdom, add one of your influence markers to any empty territory in that kingdom. A territory that with a castle symbol represents that kingdom's capital city. And you may not place a marker in a capital city unless every other territory in that kingdom, excluding councils, have already been claimed. Councils are special locations that may never be accessed through marker placement. 
After placing your marker, draw your hand back up to four cards. If you run out of markers, then you are immediately withdrawn from the age. Claiming a capital city. If you play a card and claim the final territory in a kingdom, the capital city identified with the castle symbol, then you are immediately withdrawn from the age. Draw back up to four cards and place your hand of cards face down in front of you to indicate to all players that you have withdrawn for the remainder of the age. Rally. Instead of claiming a territory on your turn, you may opt to rally. When you rally, you immediately gain one point by advancing your player marker on the score tracker. Additionally, you may discard one to four cards from your hand, placing them face up in the discard pile, and draw that many new cards from the deck. If the deck is ever empty, simply reshuffle the discard pile to form a new deck. Important note, if any player has been withdrawn from the age, you may not take their rally action. For the remainder of that age, if you cannot play a card to any of the kingdoms, you must pass and withdraw from the age. Withdraw. If you cannot slash do not want to play a Noble Beast card and choose not to rally, or another player has already withdrawn and you cannot rally, you must withdraw from the age. If you withdraw from the age, place your hand of cards face down in front of you to indicate to all players that you have withdrawn. First to withdraw tiles. If you are the first player to withdraw during an age, either from placing in a capital city or from choosing to withdraw, randomly select one of the available green first to withdraw tiles and place it face down in front of you. You may look at its value, but do not reveal it until the end of the game. End of age. When all players have withdrawn from an age, by either withdrawing or claiming a capital city, the age ends and age of end scoring occurs. Scoring takes place at the end of each age, starting with the smallest kingdom with only four placement spots, and resolving in clockwise order. Award first place to players who have the most markers in that kingdom, including markers in the capital city and council. That player scores the amount listed on the leftmost first place tile of the kingdom, immediately advancing their marker on the score track, and then that tile is placed out of the game. If tied for first place, a battle immediately occurs to determine the winner. We'll talk about battles in a minute. Award three points to each player with the second most influence markers, and one point to each player with the third most influence markers. Unlike first place players, tied in second or third would both receive full points. Ties for second do not prevent players in third place from receiving points. Battles. A battle occurs if players are tied for first place in a kingdom. Battles do not occur to resolve second or third place. Each battling player simultaneously chooses a card from their hand for battle and reveals it. The player that reveals the highest rank wins the battle, with one exception. A one rank always beats an eight rank. The winner of the battle is awarded the first place tile points and that tile is removed from the game. The loser of the battle gets second place and is awarded three points. The loser of the battle is also awarded a plus two battle modifier tire to be used in a future battle. In the case of a three-way tie, both losing players are awarded three points for second place and both gain a plus two battle modifier tile. If there is a three-way tie for first place, the highest card wins the battle, with one exception. A rank of one wins the battle if either of the battling opponents has played an eight rank. If any battle modifiers would raise a player's rank to eight rank or higher, the one rank wins. If two players reveal winning battle cards of the same rank and thus tie, it, only those players continue battle, battling by choosing another card from their hand to battle with until a winner is resolved. Regardless of the battle results, all battle modifiers used in battle are discarded at the conclusion of the battle. Additionally, all players draw back up to four cards in hand at the conclusion of the battle. Any unused plus two battle modifiers are worth one point at the end of the game. Councils. 
Each kingdom has a council made up of two special territories. You may never place a marker on a council territory when playing a card to a kingdom. Instead, at the end of age one and age two after scoring, if you placed a marker in the capital city, you may now move it to an empty territory in that kingdom's council. Markers in a council remain there for the rest of the game and count toward your marker total for that kingdom when determining end of age scoring. Reset Kingdoms Reset the kingdoms to prepare for the next age by removing all markers from all the kingdoms, returning them to their respective players, except markers in councils, which remain. Next, remove all Noble Beast cards below each kingdom and return them to the discard deck. Also return all discard cards to the deck, reshuffle the deck, and set it aside for the next age. Cards in your hand should remain in your hand. If you have fewer than four cards in hand at this point, draw back up to four. Remove the five decree cards from the game and reveal five new ones from the decree deck, placing one at the base of each kingdom. New first player. The player who is in last place on the score track becomes the new first player for the next age. With play proceeding clockwise, if tied for last, the tied player who claimed a capital city earlier in the previous age breaks the tie and goes first. Game ends. Play proceeds until the end of the third age, at which point the game ends. After awarding end of age scoring points for the third age, all players reveal any first to withdraw tiles they collected during the game and count up any unused battle modifier tiles, one point per unused advancing their marker appropriately on the score track. The player with the most points wins. If tied, tied players compare the capital cities they claimed in the third age. Whichever player claimed the larger ca kingdom's capital city wins the tie. If neither tied player claimed a capital city in the third age, the victory is shared. Thank you for watching How to Play Animal Kingdoms. If you enjoyed this content, please like us and subscribe, and then when the new videos come out, you'll be notified for that. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Have a great day!